I've been looking for you now and then Someone just like you Who can make me feel the way you do Cause if I'm the ocean, you're the rain We only need each other, baby, you know we're the same Dinner is gonna be hot pot. And it's just a huge line of people outside waiting for seats. Luckily got a reservation. This place just opened. Looks pretty. A robot waiter there. Wow, no, pretty good. This is a beautiful. Look at a hot pot restaurant. Sauce bar over here. Thank you, thank you. Sauce bar fee. Sure. Soup base, half pot. I'm not sure which one is good. I'm gonna ask them for some suggestions. So Wagyu house, gotta get Wagyu. Wagyu house, Wagyu meat. Daily limit quantity, huh? There's a lot of different options in the Wagyu menu. There's skewers here, small foods and sides, special items, wow, a lot of stuff. There's a lobster on a boat. A lot of different Wagyu options on the menu. There's American Wagyu, which they have a farm here. I mean, this restaurant chain owns a farm of Wagyu. Then there's Japanese Wagyu. I'm getting one of each. There's also Wagyu clay pot rice that I'm getting. That looks good, and they told me it tastes good, so I gotta try that out. So a lot of different Wagyu options. Wagyu fried rice. Oh, dancing noodles. Forget about that. There's Wagyu dumplings, and then a bunch of hot pot dipping options. I think I'm good. This is really cool. Wagyu buns, Wagyu balls, Wagyu tongue. I think this is good. So this place, chopsticks, they give you the tip right in here. Just. Just attach it like that. You're good to go, extra long so you can reach your pot. And this is really kind of innovative. Usually a hop up like you just get a bowl. This place gives you a plate so you get more surface area with your sauce. I think that's pretty smart. Sauce is good. Oh, they got masks changing right now. This is pretty cool. So got my big platter of Wagyu, got the Wagyu dumplings, the Wagyu clay pot rice. Let's taste that. This is good. Spicy rice infused with that melty fat of the Wagyu. I mean, as soon as you bring it up to your nose, you know you're about to bite into something special. Mm. The meat is so melty. Rice is perfect. The texture is amazing. I know it's a hot pot place, but Come get a bowl of this. Mm. 
Now this platter is pretty cool. So it has a spot right here that fits your chopsticks. And the broth is boiled lean. Tons of lantern chili. Wow. This is a special speed pop pop base. This thing is full of chunk meat. Boil eggs. Oh, that will light you up. And I only got the medium spice. Wagyu dumplings. Three to five minutes. Toss some in the tomato. Toss some in the chili. So this is the braised wagyu. Oh, that's tender. Tons of flavor in this. If you've never had Lu Wei, it's marinated meats and eggs. So that flavor has definitely penetrated through this. Oh, yeah. This is necessary armor in your battle with Hot Pot. Never had a Wagyu dumpling before. Mmm. Woo! I are juicy. Tons of juice in this dumpling. That is a delicious dumpling. I mean, that is one of the juiciest dumplings I ever put in my mouth. Come here and get yourself some Wagyu dumplings. Unbelievable. So far, this place lives up to its name. Wagyu house, tons of Wagyu dishes. Everything's so, everything's great so far. Let's try a piece of this Mac American Wagyu. Love the hop up broth. This thing will cook in about five seconds. Three, two, one. There you go. Whoa. Oh, that melted so nicely. Wow. I mean, the marbling on this is absolutely beautiful. It is cut amazingly thin. So when it hits the water, really no time at all. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. A little bit of seasoning. This is a Japanese Wagyu. Holy moly. Oh, talk about a snowstorm. Just beautiful, beautiful cut. It's like a scroll painting. Little tomato broth, again, about five seconds. And that is all you need to do. Don't need to put any dipping sauce in this, really. If the American Wagyu melts like chocolate, the Japanese Wagyu melts like a snowflake. Really not much in the world tastes as good as an amazing piece of Japanese Wagyu. So this is sashimi grade Wagyu. So this thing, you just dip it in the sauce and it's good to go. Wow. I've never had Wagyu sashimi style before, but that is mind blowing. This is one of my favorite things here. A second potatoes, toss this in. A second. Oh, let's do let's do spicy. You don't want this to go in too long, otherwise this thing just pretty much disintegrates in the broth. A second. Take it out. Whew. Oh, this is why you wear an apron. Super thin light potatoes. Mm. Usually you go to hot pot. The potatoes are sliced kind of thick, so it's kind of a gamble. If you forget about it, they just kind of disappear in the broth. Dish, eight seconds, take it out. Still got a nice little snap to it. Delicious. Oh, I love dish. Chinese fried dough. This is one of my favorite things. This is a bamboo fungus. Basically a mushroom, and inside they put shrimp paste. So to pop a couple of those in there. That thing's gonna come out crispy, and that shrimp paste is gonna be chewy and fresh. Here it is, fungus with a shrimp paste in the middle. So good. First time I had this, I think it was at Hot Pot. I've never had this before. This fungus is just so snappy and light. It's just like a thin little snappy net. It's around this super tender, gentle shrimp paste. Mm. Delicious. Also, they have a oxtail soup base. They were kind enough to bring me a bowl to try. It's giant pieces of oxtail inside. And what I like about the soup bases here is that, I mean, it's not just flavor. They actually have so much real raw ingredients inside. Oh, that's good. You would think an oxtail broth would be a little overly fatty. Not at all. Nicely balanced. I mean, it's oily, but not greasy. 
This is delicious. Giant piece of tail inside. Oh. That's just so tender. And they said to uh, take a piece of the oxtail and dip it into citron chili peppers. Oh, that's oh, delicious. Those are the perfect chilies for the oxtail. These things really just melt in your mouth. I'm definitely getting this soup base next time. Mmm. Chase it with a sip of soup after. Oh, that's awesome. This is a really good flesh. All right, they just brought over a dish. This is Wagyu beef tongue. And this thing is being kept hot by these little pebbles on the bottom. Look at this. Covered in what I consume is chilies and cumin. Oh, that is juice. This is a thick cut of tongue as well. Wow. And this thing is glistening and looks juicy. This is just masterful. Chilies, cumin, bring out that great smoky flavor. And that thing just bursting with juice every single bite you take. That is a delicious, delicious dish. This is a black soy tofu. This is one of their specialties here. Mm. Oh, that's tender. This Wagyu clay pot rice thing, one of my favorite things tonight. I just been eating that and adding more Wagyu into this. Oh, also, if you guys do come here or anywhere that has uh, Wagyu on the menu, let me show you a trick I learned actually from, well, from their sister restaurant, Chubby Cattle. Separate out the egg yolk. Just put it right there. Take your Wagyu. Hold it in the egg yolk. Goes into the pot. Becomes even more velvety. All right, gotta eat up, good job. There's some awesome desserts coming. My name, little dumpling guy. I think that's my logo. Only problem with this is how to eat this without feeling like a horrible person. However you slice it, you're gonna feel bad. That's pretty good though. I love how many different varieties of Wagyu dishes this place came up with. Wagyu dumplings, especially amazing. The tongue absolutely must get. Clay pot rice. Do yourselves a favor and try that when you come here. And of course, the Wagyu. I never heard of a hot pot place that you know has their own Wagyu farm. And it is 100% melting your mouth tender. Also, ambiance are really amazing. They got all these great shows, live performances to keep everything interesting. Plus, everyone I encountered so courteous and nice. Conclusion, fantastic place. I am gonna sleep really, really well tonight. Well, maybe not after decapitating that little bear and then seeing another one melt into my hot pot. I mean, if you love cute things, this place will make you really happy and then scare you a little bit. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Until we eat again, see you later. A few minutes later. They just brought over this coconut pudding. Yeah, get this afterwards. I mean, a little bear is cute. Take a photo of that, post on Instagram, but get yourself a coconut pudding. Mm, as this is covering my tongue, it's actually healing it. So light. This is absolutely amazing. Mm.